So hello everyone, <laughs> and you are joining us to take a look at 11001011's ship, the Sphincter Explorer. And as you can yes. see, it's a beautiful ship with a load of detail. And it has Absolutely. a friendly American flag which has been somewhat damaged, which is interesting. <laughs> so, I'm going to ask the real questions here. Why did you name it the Sphincter Explorer? <laughs> <laughs> well, there are several purposes to this ship. Uh, one of them is to be ridiculous. Check. <laughs> Another. I wanted to mess around with some lighting on the interior on a ship just to get some cool effects. Check. Uh, and I just oh, wanted I a unique a design. Hole. And another check. There are no Y-holes. You see no Y-holes. No, I saw a Y-hole. It's in there on a desk. Don't, don't make us murder. Please. It's pretty. <laughs> it's really pretty. Yeah, we don't want to kill it. Mm. It's too great to kill. Ooh, man. Yeah, you got some great details here on the inside. Yeah, like some of the walls yeah. are crenellated for no reason yeah. at all. It's all Ooh, recess detailed. lighting on this guy's hardcore. I remember I did the, uh, the review of the Mission Accomplished, which was also a great ship. Um, yes, but this is I gotta say this is a huge can I just say that the combination mm -hmm. of those two names makes a hell of a fleet <laughs> <laughs> Mission accomplished thank you Explorer come on home <laughs> that is yeah, more <laughs> Mayday mayday the Sphincter Explorer is going down We're in trouble <laughs> We're stuck in oh, no, I can't going say up. it all the way oh. The tail gunner I think it's like a tail salvage. I have to say, I think my favorite feature of this ship, first of all, is the fact that your shuttles, number one, have landing skids. Number yep. two, they look mm -hmm. like they all do different jobs. And number three, oh my god, they're attached, like, perfectly. Yeah, the spacing on that was key. That that looks ridiculous. How, how early in the process did you build those shuttles onto the ship? Um, it was right after the, um, the uh, latest 1.4 update. Oh, wow. So those were an integral part of the early design then? Oh, yeah. Started with the core room and branched out from there, and I had no idea what any of the shape was going to be until I got to that part. Whoa! By the way, have you guys seen, once again, the Botany Bay? Just check that out, actually. Mm -hmm. Holy really plant nice life, that man. Pond. Mm -hmm. Awesome view too. This, yeah, one thing this you'll ship notice has a lot of this, role play potential. This okay. uh, the section right in front of the core room is meant to be rotational. Is obviously not implanted in the game, but there are different gravity zones. So the two rooms to the outside have gravity blocks facing outward. Which is why if you're looking at them normally oriented, uh, they'll all be all sideways. You sir are God amongst men. That is <laughs> well awesome. done. Been, I like the I've engine themed hair dryer. <laughs> uh, li literally, you have you have in there. The Jeffries tube. That was another interesting. Oh yeah, feature. my gravity elevators. But I wanted a Those fast are... way to get from the core to the bridge, and the, it's kind oh. of a pain walking all the way. What do you know about? Well, chairs? the hallway just behind the bridge that was great. Right. With all the yeah, how you did all those wedges is great. Thanks. Because yeah, is... it's not your it's it's not the typical design. It's very. And the colors, and the corridors. The colors definitely. It's Such a huge wedging. rainbow. Oh wait, <laughs> hang on. Glass with wedging and lighting. Oh hello. Yeah, <laughs> now that really works. The conduits under the floors, guys, in the middle. That is spectacular. I really, like, I really like that a lot. I am still finding rooms. <laughs> yeah. Same here. Oh, I just yeah, this is one of those ships. And... Right, this whole no. glass in the floor with different wedges and multiple colors underneath with pack. That is we lost amazing. Him. <laughs> we lost him. That is just... Oh, no. We're giving the Sphincter Explorer a proper stroke, and just, we lost him. This is just hanging lights. You've even turned them round. 
I'm like, this is one of those few ships where I'd actually want to be whoa. just a passenger on yeah, exploring the gravity the block designed for the wall with the two hanging mm -hmm. lights, all of the... Yes. I mean... <laughs> oh, and then, yeah, like you say, you've got the flip gravity, and then you can walk down this ramp to here, go out of there, and then the gravity is on this side. I see exactly what you've done here. It's beautiful. It's absolutely beautiful. And then, obviously, you've got the same thing on this side got like a different color in here. Well, I'm highly convinced to build a ship and dedicated for exploration. Thanks. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is actually beautiful. I'm loving the ring. I, I want to do that that vertical ring thing on a on a yeah, ship. Uh, sort of like yeah. the old um like the old sci-fi. Yeah. Oh. And props on doing the only successful use of complex beacons I've ever seen. Yeah. <laughs> where it actually yeah. makes sense. And also, like you said... Need to say, know where you're heading. You've got that whole gravity set up so that people can get into their shuttles nice and quick. I love that. Yep. And like I say, just that you've got a real nice touch with the lighting in the various places around the ship, just to give a little bit of a red glow up there and a green glow in the side here. And it's not too much, you know? It's really nice. As Delvon said, I'm still finding rooms. <laughs> and I can see a Have you found the community restroom for the crew? Not in the uh, captain's room. No. Oh, <laughs> yes. What do you know about chairs? Oh, God. That's another awesome what? chair. What? What? The floor design. It's really good. Yeah. I really like how you can reorient just normal blocks and have just the texture of the hull face different directions. Yep. Yeah, we didn't see that. Uh, more, more loading seats for things. <laughs> Oh, what is... Oh, sorry, okay. Is this like cryo room or something? Yeah, yeah cryo there's, tubes. There's a cryo room. Meant for four crew. What's this above the cryo room? It's definitely not a Y-hole bar. <laughs> <laughs> it's certainly not what the crew runs on. <laughs> Even though they do 30 hour shifts. That's right, it's the only way to keep the slaves from revolting. Yeah. Liquid Y hole. They call it Y ball. Ball. Better known <laughs> as Nucleus. Oh. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the Y. Yep. Mountain Nucleus. And when they. And when they. When they. When they. Use nucleus is, is called nuking it. Yeah. Oh god, Ooh, nice. <laughs> gotta do Class. some nuking, man. I got, I got a nuke. I got a nuke, man. Nuke. Got any wild? <laughs> Although on this server, that could be either way, because I mean, oh wow, ridiculous it, it, it's ships. It's the lighting all the time. on the sides where the girders, whatever, whatever these are. I think they're girders. The sides. <laughs> wow. Needless to say, I think your uh, mission to get good lighting was successful. I think, <laughs> I, I, I think your sphincter uh, explorer <laughs> de deserves the title of mission accomplished. I think it's made yeah. a penetrative make impression. A of the ships. <laughs> it's made an impression on us, that's for sure. Well, I, well I this is like just a start. Yeah, just, just in general, like, not to show favoritism or anything, but like, it's really nice to see your sh ships on my planet. Because, well, oh. one, the flag makes it really notable, so I'm like, hey, I know whose that is. And then they're just good designs, too, as opposed to some of the ones that end up there. Not that all of them are bad, but there's just they're some I'm like, why is this part here? And yeah, also, yeah, exactly. your combination lighting effect on the ring, you've gone, to, you've gone with different lighting, you know? Yeah. And that has worked. It kind of looks like blue crystal wedges, which you can't get. Yeah. Which is a nice touch. Hmm. And it really looks like it's got like a glowing crust around the outside of the ring. 
So much cool stuff that you can learn from just looking at this ship. Chuck full. Yeah. So many tricks put together in a small space, an awful lot of them interior. You know, if I was still doing Ship of the Week, I'd say this was it. Um, and I'm really glad mission accomplished. We're conservative with the with the engines. Up there that. Like you didn't, it didn't have to be something big and ridiculous with all the and stuff. It's just no. you know, nice, small, and compact. Really exactly. Yeah. Like to be honest, it gets you, around. If you turned yeah. around to me and said this thing has no guns, I I wouldn't care. I'd be like, yeah. Yeah. So yeah, awesome. Hundred percent. So mate. It's beautiful. this thing has no guns. Yeah, it's beautiful, mate. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. Done. Perfect. Mission accomplished. Wait, I just found the purple Y-hole couch. Or no, that's a mushroom yeah, couch. Yeah, it's just a mushroom couch. Although nice. I do like the mushroom couch. Well, of course you would. It's purple. Of course I do. Yeah. <laughs> Although, why isn't it hardened? Just because it looked better in, with what Well, you gotta have a soft use? couch, man. You don't want a hard couch. Uh, that's just true, uncomfortable. True, true, true. <laughs> yeah, exactly. There you go. I originally built it in realistic, but in pixel it just looks so much better. It does. <laughs> it's yeah. so vibrant in pixel. Yeah. Real clean. Right, so what's the name of this ship again, please? 11001011. You have been looking at the Sphincter Explorer. Excellent. And I've never enjoyed it more. And out of interest, <laughs> does that binary stand for anything, or is it just literally binary? Well, I gotta have a recognizable name. It works. Binary suits me fine. <laughs> nice. Okay then, so basically I will be going on to the next ship in the review. Thanks for showing up and uh, can't wait to see your next build. Oh yeah. And of course, you have the choice to either leave or stick around. Could you destroy Entity Dark? Yes.